Good morning, Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Peyton Forbes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, September 2nd, 2022. Now let's take a brain break. It's always nice to take a moment to relax. Now let's go learn a new word with Word of the Day. Hey Patriots! It's just me for today. My friend intended to be here, but she has something to do. Hmm, you don't know what intent means? Intent is like the word plan. So my friend didn't plan to not be here. It's a bit sad that she isn't here, but I know she didn't intend to. See you tomorrow on Word of the Day. Now let's see what happened today in history with Aiden. Thank you, Peyton. Hi, Patriots. Today in history on September 2nd, 1945, Japan surrendered and ended the World War II. World War II was a global war that lasted from 1939 to 1945. It involved the most of the world's countries in atomic bombing. With Japan being very connected to nature, they had to surrender. Wow, it's amazing that the world has much more peace now. Thank you, Aiden. That was very interesting. Scholars, testing is still going on. 6th to 8th grade is taking their iReady reading diagnostic. Good luck and great job to everyone that completed their tests so far. Calling all super patriots. The instructional software challenge is still going on. Make sure to keep completing those lessons. Your mission is to have 25 past lessons in reading and 25 past lessons in math. Gate through 2, your challenge will be on iReady and 3 through 8, yours will be on Imagine Math. Patriots, don't forget our cell phone policies. Make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpack at all times. There is no school on Monday due to Labor Day. Let's enjoy our day off and honor those working people. Students, please let your teachers know if you will be receiving lunch today. We will resume sharing the lunch menu on Tuesday. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Sophia. Thanks, Peyton. Hey, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a high of 92 degrees with a partly cloudy skies with a low of 79 degrees. It's a great day to spend some time outdoors, so get your sneakers on and have some fun outdoors. In other weather news, another drought exposes something amazing. Recently, we covered a story talking about a stone hedge that was uncovered in the Valdecanas Reservoir. Right around the corner from it is a historic bell tower. Usually, you would only be able to see the top of the tower, but the drought exposed these breathtaking ruins. You're able to canoe through them to truly see its beauty up close. Now let's see Hendrik for today's birthdays. Thank you, Sophia. Today's birthday boys and girls are Allison Verdieu and Louise Colon. And for our weekend birthdays, Nicole Dosan, Leroy Francois, Jasmine Shepard, Anaya Francois, and Troy Williams. And for our Monday birthdays, Camila Duran, Kaylin Fowler, Kylie Fowler, Fanley Edward, Leilani Santana, and one of our very own members, Christian R. Sescobar. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Peyton. Thank you, Hendrik. Now let's see what's happening with news around the school. This is amazing. I love us. <laughs>
mindfulness bubble breathing. Wow. Ooh, mindfulness blowing bubble. That was awesome. Teachers, please continue uploading any interesting photos or videos into the News Around the School OneDrive folder so we can keep highlighting everything going on around our school and in your classrooms. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Carmona, Ms. Silvera, and Ms. Cavalita. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, in the animated film The Jungle Book, which character says the bare necessities of life will come to you? The correct answer is Baloo. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily Challenge! How many times in a day are the hands of a clock in a straight line but opposite in direction? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for your response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV Blogs wish you all a fantastic Friday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day and a fabulous weekend.